Assalamu alaikum. Here's Ahmad Nasser again with a new tutorial about C sharp. In this tutorial we're gonna build a database. So first of all, just go to the SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, and here we got we need to create a new database. So just go database and uh, put the name as Ahmad Company or whatever you want to name your database. Put a name here and after that just go and click OK and after that I need you to do something which is something very very important if you go to the tools options and uh, go designers double click on that and here we got prevent saving make sure that you remove the, the check from here so make sure to uncheck this prevent saving changes because sometimes when you need to uh, modify a table recreate something uh, it prevents you from doing that so you need to prevent saving to be unchecked to be able to save all time so just click OK and here we just go here create a new table so in order to do that just go here uh, tables go new table and put all the the stuff here ID with the type and just save that so we just go here and save that and so forth so I already created two tables one for for employees if you click on, on design I created ID name first name last name per day hire date and I go also to the department I just created number and and uh, a name for the department I just created a number and use this as an integer and define this as a primary key if you want to remove the primary key just uncheck this if you want to set a primary key just but set primary key so and after that just go on the in the in the tab there and just type save okay for the employee I just created uh, the same process I just create an ID first name last name birthday hire date and here let me just move this up man okay and uh, for the employee we just create an ID first name last name birth date hire date and and save this and we define this as a primary key okay just set the primary key and down here if you go here uh, we go to an, an option called identity specification just say you know choose that and set this to be yes and this allow you to increment uh, the ID every time you insert a new value so here we got increment by one all the time so every time you insert a new employee to the system okay that mean your ID gonna be incremented so you don't need to insert ID you just insert the first name last name birthday hire date you insert these values and the ID will automatically increment it so uh, this is for the classes for the tables department we see it before but the screen was below the level so we have number name we just put this as a primary key and just save the table when you save the table just give the name for the table so I just give it name for the department and we got these two tables uh, we need to define a relationship between these two employees tables uh, between these two tables the department employees so minimize this go database uh, diagram here just type in new database diagram and I'll give you a message uh, this database does not have one okay let's click yes and so here we got a new window popped up uh, department employee to just want to check them all using shift and choose them both and click add close this so here as you can see here we got this nice diagram it give you the department and give you the employee and it say that uh, one department has many employees so in order to uh, make a connection between this and this we need to add a new value here so we need to add a new value to the employee called the employee ID or the department ID in employee ID so in order to do that you just go back again to uh, our tables 
and go to employees uh, check design and just basically put here and put this as dip ID okay and here just put integer okay and make sure that you save this uh, back to the diagram back to the diagram that we have here we just drag from here and a drop here okay so it gives you the relation uh, between the number and department ID so just put the foreign key name this is a foreign key so we just put OK so we just save all the stuff uh, here as you can see just click OK it say that the following uh, data type properties of column does not match so you need to make them match both in order to do uh, the relationship so here we got department ID is a, an integer and if you see uh, the number here is NCHAR so make sure all the time that you have the same type so here must be integer and just make sure that you save this and back to the track here we have a, a number and we have a department ID and this is a one to many relationship so we need just to drag from here and drop there uh, okay so let me just save this diagram but before we save it let me close it and let me reopen a new one before I save that so just new database uh, diagram select them both and click add close this and we have this here okay just uh, remove the stuff you can do whatever you want here just remove the number from here and put it here you can choose what or the the you know the field that you want to make a foreign key for so I just want to add the number for the department to the employee so just select that here we got this message again make sure that you have the same type and click OK so everything's fine and here you see all this the relation uh, table and column specification uh, we got this and uh, we got enforced for application insert and update specification for example uh, and delete cascade and other stuff you can see here if there's a foreign key or weak entity and other stuff okay just click OK for now click OK and you can see here we got this key foreign key from the employee to the department okay so just uh, save this and this is okay just save this and it say the following table will be saved to your database do you want to continue yes I want to continue so we just back to employee uh, we got tables okay we got the following two tables with the new keys so you go here and try to refresh it okay try refresh it go again tables okay everything's fine sometimes you need to disconnect the SQL server so uh, sometimes you need to you know refresh something see the change so all you need to do is just disconnect it and connect it okay and if you want to connect again you just select connect here and let me close all the stuff from here close 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 I have a lot of things here. okay close all the stuff and go data paces and here we go tables okay we got the same tables sometime if everything is uh, you know be turban you need some time to uh, quit the SQL management studio and go back again so you know this kind of technical issues then maybe you my face but anyway so here we go data paces we got uh, the company database we got tables we got this stuff here so we finish with adding uh, the tables to our database we made the relationship between the ta the employee and the you know uh, and the department and we already know how to define a class diagram and how to put the foreign keys inside uh, the class diagram
so thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video tutorial and uh, I appreciate watching again see you later